Hi everybody, my name is Troy Hawes and welcome once again to another edition of my Acoustic Lounge. We're going to go back to the early 70s and review a great song called Shambhala. It was written by a gentleman named Daniel Moore and made famous by Three Dog Night. Their version peaked at number three on the Billboard Hot 100 in 1973. Let's take a few minutes now and look at the chords and the chord progression to this great song. Okay, to get through this song, you're going to need to know three chords. Let's have a look at them now. First chord is a D. You need to know a C add 9. And you need to know a G. Those three chords are going to get you all the way through this entire song. Let's take a few minutes now and look at the chord progression and a little bit of strumming. Okay, with the exception of the chorus, uh, basically this song simply repeats these three chords over and over and over again in a loop. Um, I think you'll find it to be very, very easy. So let's take a look. Let's just jump right into it. I will review the uh, chorus separately. But for now, the verse. Here we go. Starts on the D chord. I'll try to slow it down for us. it. Those three chords, that chord progression gets you all the way through this song. All right, let's take a couple of minutes now and look at the chord progression and a little bit of strumming to that, um, to that chorus. Okay, the chorus only consists of one line, and that line is, how does your light shine in the halls of Shambhala? For the chorus, we're going to drop the D chord, and we're only going to use the G and the C add 9. We'll slow it down. It should sound something like this. Here we go. To the C add 9, back to the G. To the C add 9, back to the G. back to the D chord, which then brings you back into the verse. And, and that's really it. It's, just, it's really that simple. Okay, so one last thing that I want to show you is kind of an opening riff uh, that I incorporate into the song. Uh, you may choose to use it or not. It's uh, completely up to you. But let's have a closer look at that right now. Okay, I use that as an opening riff for the song, and I also play it in the middle of the song where there would normally be a, kind of a lead uh, guitar solo. It's easier to play than it looks. Let's have a closer look at it now. You basically start on the fifth string, second fret, and this is a B, an individual B note. Then you go to the third fret, fifth string, that's a G note. The next one is an open D, which is the fourth string. And then basically uh, you play uh, an arpeggio style, uh, picking on the D, the C add 9, and the G. So basically again, it's... That's really it. B, C, D. And 
that's it. Very, very easy to do. Practice it a few times. If you have to, watch this particular um, part of the video uh, a couple of times and I know you'll get her down. And that's it. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail with it, um, um, but it's as simple as that. All right, so you know the routine. We're going to mic it up. I'm going to use a great backbeat from my Beat Buddy by Singular Sound. Practice that a few times and be ready to join me. Wash away my troubles, wash away my pain with rain chamberla. Wash away my sorrow, wash away my shame with rain chamberla. Oh, Tell my sister, my flowers in her eyes, I'm on the road to Shambhala. I can tell my brother by the flowers in his eyes, I'm on the road to Shambhala. Oh. And there you have it, Shambhala, written by Daniel Moore and made famous by Three Dog Night. Thank you for tuning in to my Acoustic Lounge. My name is Troy Hawes. If you like my videos, please consider subscribing. I do truly, truly appreciate it. Until the next time, keep playing. Music is good for the soul. Mm -hmm.